Welcome back, my friends, to Aspen Farm, year three. Welcome back. It's year three. Can you believe that? What is this? We're going to put on a yellow shirt. Why not? And let's change our hat. We're joining Marcus as he embarks on... Oh, we have two Forger's hats. Nice. Uh, what do we want to wear? What kind of hat do we want to wear? Let's wear the straw hat. I know it's not too much of a difference, but yeah, it's just a different color. That's okay. And then I kind of want a different shirt, actually. Sorry, I know this is not the... <laughs> eh. Let's wear this one. I like this, this like, Charlie Brown kind of shirt. It's like inverted Charlie Brown. There we go. Welcome back. Welcome back. It's year three. Can you believe it's year three? I, I was intentionally not talking. I wasn't just, like, forgetting to unmute there. Um... We got, oh, it's Kent's birthday, that's really good, and Lewis's birthday, which is fine. We're starting off year three with bad luck. That's an omen, if I have seen one, hey. Let's start off by doing some cheese, because I know we're going to have some cheese. So happy that you're here, starting episode 33. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to make a new um, like thumbnail sprite for this, because I like to change it up every year, because then it's a cool like kind of just visual indicator of where we're at in the playthrough. Can just see like oh new year new thumbnail <laughs> um i can't believe we're already on year three we got the get the grandpa's cutscene. also this is supposed to be out here that's some spring music that's a little teaser i think we're gonna get, we're gonna get hit by grandpa the the shrine cutscene when we leave here which is okay but let's let's start year three let's see how all of our planning from the winter has paid off for the springtime Here we go, load that up, 83, okay, that's fine. And slowly cycle through that. Oh, here we go, it looks so green. All four candles, I was not worried about that at all, honestly. We've accomplished so much. Oh, and we have Leah, okay, hello. Hi Marcus, are you free this afternoon? I finally got my act together and I'm going to have my art show tonight. And I'm going doing my art show tonight in the town square. Come to town between three and 5 p.m. if you wanna be there. Okay. That might be very, like, unintentional that that happens. Oh, Evelyn's sending us a cake. What a good way to bring in your three with some cake. Awesome. Look at how green it looks here. Okay, we got some stuff going on here. Some little weedy, like, weedy dupes. That's okay. Um, doesn't look like there's, like, a major amount of cleaning that needs to happen, though, honestly. Welcome back. Thanks for stopping by, my friends. I appreciate you all so much. Oh, yeah, we finished with these. Um, we are going to be taking care of business. We got a lot of things to still take care of. Uh, one of them is I'm going to switch my furnaces to be up close and put my geode crushers at the back. Because that makes more sense in my brain that we use our furnaces more often than the geode crushers. So we're just going to do a little switch here. We're just going to do a little switch. There we go. Requires three coal to put a furnace in a furnace, okay. <laughs> also, why was there no music? That was weird. Do you notice that? There was no... We've heard it, so it's not... <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable. Okay, let's go and get this, because I think I forgot about this in my last playthrough, which is funny. Na 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 na, statue of perfection. You found a particular... Uh, you found a peculiar statue behind Grandpa's shrine. So awesome how I investigated. I'm like, hmm, let me just like stick my nose in behind here. Hi, Rue. Welcome to year three, Rue. I love this little path here. So I'm thinking for these. Oh, that's like really off centered. Why does this look lopsided? Because it's a three and then it's a two. That's why. I'm thinking for these, we're just going to tuck them down here. Like we'll have the statue of true perfection, whatever, down here as well. We'll see. That's going to bug me. I need to. Yeah, because there should be. That's why there should be a path there. So we'll we'll just chop this down. We'll move this over one, I think. And then we'll put something beside it, like a plant or something. I don't know. We got some stuff to take care of. It's already 10 a.m. My gosh, these darn episodes just go by so fast. Um, what sort of seeds do we want to plant this spring? We could do some of our strawberry seeds. We've been working a little hard on doing those, so let's grab those. 24, 48, that's two sprinklers worth. That's really great. 
we'll do two sprinklers worth of cauliflower. So we need to buy some more of that. And we can do rhubarb as well. So we need to buy eight more rhubarb seeds, which we can do like right now. Let's go visit <clears throat> the desert because we can do that really quick. Boop. Right, we didn't finish planting trees here. That's okay. Hi, Sandy. I would like to buy... So that's two, that's four, that's six. We can have one more sprinkler worth of something. Or two more sprinklers worth of something. That, really, that poof happened again. That's so weird. Is it the sign? Maybe it's when a sign disappears. This is a new... Hi, Pam. Oh, my head. Rough. Um, this is a new, like, I've, I've opened up the game from the desktop again. I don't know, so. <laughs> it's a new recording session. I think that's what I was trying to say. A potato for Evelyn. We can do that, and we want to work on friendship with Evelyn. Hi, Marnie. Animals are so innocent. See, don't you look, oh, if you don't look after them, who will? And um, Gas is getting supplies for the saloon. Pierre's taking the day off, so we can get... So that's two, four, six. We could do some flowers. I don't know what other fall or um, spring seed. I don't want to do ancient fruit. Can't do trellis because that would complicate things. Let's do potatoes. Why not? Because then we'll get the strong stuff from Pam eventually, right? We should go check the board actually because I'm pretty sure it's going to be one of the quests that we see we've done pretty much everything else so it's it's gonna be a uh, one that pops up the strong stuff there we go and it's I have a horse that can help us here Thank you cool so we need to do some animal things we need to check out our poor animals let them out see what's going on there there's some lovely music so let's get in here first though, and let's kind of clean up in here. Get this all prepped. This will be cool because now we can have another take on our decorations as well and how they play out in... Not winter. <laughs> Alright, so what I think I'm going to want to do is have a little bit of fun with this. Like we're going to do some strawberries here do sprinkler worth of strawberries here yep and then not do like I think I'm gonna do like mirrored if that makes sense whoops like I'll do some more strawberries here I don't want to do them like right next to each other why not because this is more of like a decorative patch if anything now obviously we'll still harvest some of the stuff but There we go, and then let's do cauliflower next. Uh, yeah, we can do it here, why not? So I know this is like preventing us from getting a, a giant cauliflower, but again, that's okay, because this isn't the area that we want a giant, giant cauliflower. Then we'll do rhubarb. And rhubarb, and I think we need to do ancient fruit today, so we need to go to the island. Because I kept on delaying it by mistake. There we go, and then potatoes. Potatoes. Sprinkle these down and we don't have to be careful anymore because there's only the plots left for them. 25, 24, there we go. There we go. Um, I'm actually gonna, let's bring, what am I doing? I'm wasting time. Bring chestnut down. Okay, I'm gonna pet and then I'll let out. I'm gonna sneeze. They sneezed with the mic on. Oh gosh, it came faster than I was expecting, I'm sorry. <laughs> Goodness, oh my nose, holy. 
okay, this isn't looking too bad down here. I mean, there's some, like, weedies and stuff, which is understandable, because, again, this grass didn't fully grow in. What are you? We don't want you there. It's a little bit of tidying up needed. Nothing too crazy. Okay, let's say hi to everyone, and then we'll let you out for some snacks. At three in the afternoon. Whoops. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Hello, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Yeah, y'all need to get out because you have no food. You have no food. I see you. Let's clean up these random little bits and bobs here as well which are going to be scattered so I'm probably going to miss a few that's okay we'll get them as we mill about as long as I get the tree ones the tree ones frustrate me Say hello to our dairy producing animals who are not super happy because I forgot to come in here and give them food. I'm sorry. Yikes, I'm horrible. 440. Do y'all want to come out and get food like in like the last 20 minutes? So <laughs> you two should be okay because yeah, you release the pigs. And I might just quickly come here and just like scythe some of the stuff here because this is all going to not stay here so it's okay if I scythe this up slash it'll spread but just so we have some feed there we go and now I can feed you all so that you're not super upset about tomorrow I think everyone, thinks everyone else is okay. I think my coop animals left in time to eat some grass. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. This is a good patch right here that we can do something with as well. Oh yeah, we were going to plant some trees. Let's plant those trees. I'm thinking I might do... Okay. Hi, Rue. I have all my animal stuff on me, so whoops. thinking I might do... Let's do two maple trees. And I'm just going to let them grow as they grow. And we can do, oh my gosh, there's weeds already spreading. That's kind of where I want it. I want this like here, right there. Can I not? Oh, because there's grass, of course. I should use my scythe for this. There we go. Um, I said maple trees, right? Right there and one right there. Okay, and we'll start with that. We'll see how that looks. Let's do animal stuff now. Robin's already closed. My goodness, because this day just takes forever. Um, did I catch up on the milks? I did not. Put you in there because we're still waiting for our coop to not be full. Or our incubators, I should say. Sorry. There we go. Well, having animals mad at us, let us get, get caught up there. <laughs> hmm, can paint our new shed. It's not a new shed, it's just a... Oops, I don't want you there, I want you there. And food goes over here. Okay, so we can bring... One, two, three, four, five, because our raccoon friends want five of this. And let's go and check the mushroom cave. Actually, let's go grab some pumpkins real quick. I kind of like that with like the little green bit in front. That looks really nice. Here we go. Bonk. And let's throw it in here. Bonk. 
And get rid of you. There we go. Is that fiber? What is this? It's also fiber. It's like I hit something. <laughs> oh, mushroom cave. Holy seeds over here. What the heck? Okay, I might chop these down because that's going to continue to irk me. And we'll take a, a look at what we want to do over here. Oh my gosh, there's so many seeds. Spreading like a wildfire. If anything, I would plant like some mahogany trees over here so that we get those seeds in the same manner. Um, mushrooms are still doing their thing, unfortunately. That's okay. So let's go and drop off these, um, cave carrots, because they're in our inventory. Help us and we'll give you something nice. Donk. Just waiting on the purple mushrooms, my friend. They'll be soon. Okay. Looking okay. Um, decent first day. I'm thinking... What do I want to put beside there? Let's go check our furniture catalog. Actually, let's clean up our inventory first. Jades are up. Let's get our jades. Oh, we should go visit the island too, right? Ancient fruit. My goodness. Brain, come back to me. Do what you want to do. And in between episodes, I was actually thinking about what to do about the fish ponds, and I think I have an idea. I think I have an idea of what I want to do with fish ponds. But we need to come here first. Yeah, because we got, we got a lot of things up here. Ooh, almost all of them. Almost the full patch. Yeah, I think this will be good. Like, look at it. We already have, like, over a keg's worth here, and we're going to be getting this every week. Or over a shed's worth. Sorry, not a keg's worth. Of course we have over a keg's worth. Over a shed's worth. Okay, and let's see what our key quest is, because it might be... Danger in the Deep, or Skull Cavern Invasion, or Hungry. If it's one of those three, we'll for sure do it. The other ones are kind of iffy. Maybe if it's um, the Loved Gifts. Key's Kindness. I don't want to do either of these. Wait, why is there only three days left for this one? Why is there only three days left for this one? Okay, we're not doing a key quest today. <laughs> do I have key gems? No. 47%. Nice. Okay, so next on the docket is... We are going to go and check down here first, but we're going to go check the beach to see if we can find one more clam. We need one more clam. And I don't think clams typically spawn here. Oh my goodness, Chestnut, you're so chonky, hey? You're not chonky, I think you're just scared of small spaces. You're a little claustrophobic like Thorn. Anyone reading Murgtach? Murgtach? I don't know how to say that. <laughs> feel another sneeze. How can you tell I'm recording this early on in the day? Because I just need to sneeze a bunch. Apologies, we're back. Eyes are watering. Doing great. <laughs> we didn't even get our buffs today. Uh, sure. We're not going to be going in the mines. Drop y'all off. This like random bare patch of dirt over here is gonna bother me. That's why I'm bringing this over here. Sorry. There we go. Just fill that in a bit. Um, I might pull up this actually too. Put it on the fence. 
and I can fill this in with grass. And again, we're gonna maybe be looking at this grass and trying out some stuff. We can plant a tree or two up there. We're gonna be slowly picking away. Slowly picking away. It looks really good though in the spring. I like it. Gonna wanna do something up there. Oh, it's 140. I should not be doing this at 140. Goodness. Get in the house. <laughs> Get in the house. Ooh, mannequin was vibrating. Okay, we fell asleep close to our bed. I'll take it. Yay, good job, Goldenrod. Okay, we have Goldenrod, we have Marigold. Apparently we're on our gold fix. What else can we name that's gold? <laughs> sure. Goldie. Nice. 17,000 for our pumpkins. We'll take it. We will take it. Let's get our speed going. And let's see what we got. Nothing special today. It is a really good luck day. Okay. Uh, I don't know how we want to use that really good luck day. We want to go to the beach after we do animal stuff. That's for sure. Oh yeah, I can prep this area too. Shoot. Um... Maybe I'll go... Hmm. Hmm. Um... I think it's 200 stone, right? I think I can catch Robin before she goes to... Jazzercise. Oh, yay, we have Iridium. Oh, that's so cool how it tells you how many. Nice little baby inflow of iridium here and there. Inflow? I don't even know if that's a word. I don't know. We're just gonna wait for Robin to walk by. Just vibing in here while they're all in bed and like, I am ready! Waiting. Oh, Maru's gonna come out. All right, can I go more to Maru? 7.30 a.m. Nice, Maru. That's when I also left my room to start the day. Hi, Maru. Stop by your house if you need to upgrade your buildings. Sounds good, Maru. Thanks. Oh, did this change to stone and wood? Wasn't this just all wood before? Am I in the way? Eee. Demetrius is next. We'll say good morning to Demetrius. I like this vibrant ecosystem. It's the reason I got excited to move here. I need to focus on friendships this year. What is this book? A bunch of carpentry magazines. I'm not gonna join Robin in her bed. Wait, what the heck? Does she just walk through the bed? I think so. She'll leave eventually for Jazzercise and we will be ready. Sebastian, hi. Some people are talkers, others are listeners. I'm more of a listener. I agree with that statement. Robin? I also really like this rug. These two rugs, I really like. I wish we could... I am Robin. Can I become Robin? Sorry, I know this is like the most entertaining thing alive right now. Robin, how long do you sleep for? Hello? There we go. Jeez. I mean, kudos to you for sleeping in. Most people don't have that luxury, you know? Because life demands other things from them. I'm ready, Robin. I'm ready, Robin. I'm ready, Robin. I'm ready. Nice. Um, construct farm buildings because I want to paint our new shed. Yeah, it's a new um, 
a new time opening this game. So building, roof, and trim. There, that looks so much nicer. Hey, wow. Oh, this area, I love this area so much. I think I'm going to want to put some more, like, like maybe bucket of flowers or something in here a bit, just to brighten it up a bit. But we can do that. Um, we can do that eventually. Maybe one more tree in behind sticking out here. Like another maple tree, maybe. But that's area, that area is looking really nice. And, okay, so now I want to move some buildings. So I'm going to want to move Rue. What would make sense for Rue? Oh, crap. I know I'm killing grass, but that's okay. Like, it looks kind of awkward there. I think I need to put it here so I can put some stuff there. Um, can I change it then? Can I change you? Let's change it to that. Yeah, and then we can just put something like grass or something around there. We'll see how that looks. Okay, and now, can you make me... Oh, yeah, we're going to want to make a slime hutch eventually. Can you make me a fish pond? And I'm going to pop this one down right here for the time being. Right there for the time being. Yay, thanks, Robin. Okay, have fun in Jazzercise. <laughs> and now let's go take care of farm farm chores. We need a lot of farm things to take care of. Let's get our buffs. I don't like this. I think we're going to change this out. I think I'm going to try like another layer of stone path there. Um, coal and we got speed. Nice. Yeah, there's just like too much grass to bother me. But that's okay. There, I think that's okay. I think that's okay. And then we just need to figure out what to do in front of it. Um, animals. Yeah, this looks really nice. I really like this area. Whoa, it's huge! Hi, pals. I'm not going to stress out about... Why am I... Oh, I was like, I'm not hearing them. I am hearing them. I'm not going to stress out too much about like, petting them. Hello, hello, hello. Can I... Can I... Just move those down. Move this up. There we go. Yeah, if I don't pet some, I'm not going to be like, oh, I need to find them anymore. There we go. Yeah, there's that one cow in there, but that cow will be in there. again. Yay. Bonk. Bonk. Let's grab two of these because we might come across Leo and actually is 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 Leah done? Did we finish Leah? Leah's done. Okay, so I don't need the goat cheese. Let's go into our greenhouse really quick because I don't know what's happening up there. Yeah, this will be a good area to build some sheds. I think at least one shed. I'm a huge fan of sheds, but I have a plan with the shed that we're going to be building. I have a plan. Oh, yes, it is fruit day. That's good, because I was going to want to be running around. Nice, and let's grab our pineapple. multiples of five. We have a lot of mangoes, holy. Oh right, because we didn't 
There we go. Okay, we have a lot of fruit to just run around and give to folks as we come across them if we need to as well. But that's the plan. So I should be able to take some of this pathing and I think it'll just kind of mesh nicely here. Kind of give Rue a little landing pad. I don't know. Can we we can put it in behind? She looks a bit messy, but that's okay. We'll stick with that for now. Mm hmm And yes. Let's go out and about. Out and about. I was thinking we might convert some of this land, like not into pasture, like pasture land. Oh. Oh, is it between three and five as well? <laughs> All the raccoons being like, hello, what's happening? Oh, Marcus, you scared me. Sorry. See that fruit out there? It looks delicious, doesn't it? But I can't reach it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> thanks. Okay, got it. Gosh, you just jumped on our shoulders. That's so scary. You're stronger than you look. Here, try a piece. Chomp. Does it heal me? No. You know, I just realized something. Even if my arc career is a flop, I'll always have a friend to catch me on the way down. Nice. Why am I here? <laughs> I was gonna see if I could buy... Yay, I can. Okay, I wanna buy like 200 feed, just so that that's kinda taken care of. Um, we can buy the dark cat tree for our house as well. We'll give Shane a apple. Hey, this is great, thanks. What do you want from me, money? I give you a, uh, a pot of gold to leave me alone. Oh my goodness, Shane. Okay, and we are going to go check the beach, because we didn't get the chance to yesterday. We're going to give some gifts in here. Who wants bananas? No one, because no one's home. I should have a, brought a coconut for Haley Crap. I can actually bring gifts that people like, too. Anyone home here? No, okay. okay do we have this cutscene yet? No. Do, 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 do. Should be able to find Elliot at some point. Yay, there it is. Will you give us two? No. Okay, that's awesome. We can build our fourth obelisk now. Oh, there you are. Speaking of Elliot, here. Done! This will make a beautiful cool. I'm inspired already. Yay, Elliot is done. Let's come over here and grab some of this stuff, though. There's another one, yay. Okay, so that will... The main reason why I want another one is just so I have it... I still have a chest spot for it. Okay. Let's go see if Leo's at school. He might be... Oh, it is between three and five. Nice. Marcus, you're here. Okay, I guess I better introduce my pieces. Wish me luck. Um. Okay, everyone. Thanks for coming to my art show. As some of you know, I came to this town because I wanted to draw inspiration from beautiful surroundings. This place really feels like home now. Okay, I'm going to introduce my sculptures now. I haven't named this one yet. She started out with an exercise in human anatomy, but I ended up seeing her through to completion. Her expression is intentionally unclear. Uh, she embarrassed, amused, pained? I'll leave that for you to decide. This one's called Post-Dimensional Null Space. It represents the boundary of human imagination. The shape and color came to me vividly when I was in a trance state. Very iridium. I've been calling this one Eggheads. I wanted to create an animatronic humanoid statue to toy with the viewer's ability to properly attribute personhood to a physical entity. 
and the last one is called Wood Sculpture 3. It's a celebration of my favorite sculpting material, wood. Well, those are my sculptures. Oh, one last thing. I'd like to say thanks to my special friend, Marcus. He gave me the idea for this show and the courage to go with through with it. I know that sounds cheesy, but it's true. I'm proud of you, Leah. Events like this really breathe life into our little town. Great stuff. I love your art, Leah. Post-dimensional null space is my favorite. Great use of wood. Thanks for doing this. Yay, validation. Thanks, everyone. Now let's start the bidding on these wonderful art pieces. A marvelous addition to your home. Do you hear $5,000 for the pink one? Get on the horse. Okay, we're gonna... Hi, Sam. I can give you uh, a banana. Have a banana. You got this for me? Thanks. Oh, here's all the pals. Leo is here. Yay. Here you go, Leo. I love this. I'm gonna put this in my nest. I miss Penny. Oh, that brought Leo up to eight hearts. Um, is doing a bus to get me up to speed in schooling. She's really nice. Maybe now that my mother has a bus for driving back, I can start saving more money on things like... Well, looking for... Okay. Here you go. Thanks. This looks nice. I don't want to eat the banana. I want to give the banana. Oh, you don't like bananas? Ah, I'm sorry. I'll give a peach then. I love presents. Yay. You can play with my dolls if you want to. Just make sure they brush your hair when you're done. You won't let me have any more gummies today. I'm sorry, Vincent. I didn't mean to just give you a gift that you didn't like. How could I? I'm so cruel. Um. Okay, we're going to buy some tickets too. Because it is... What is it? Natural Wonders. Who likes Natural Wonders? Stardew... Theater. Um, I know obviously Dwarf, but we're gonna... Um, Demetrius, Dwarf, Jazz, Leo, Louis, Maru, and Sandy. Okay, let's see who's our lowest on our friendship here out of those. Maru. Maru it is. Hi, Abby. I can give you... Yay, no worries. I can talk to you too. Hi, I'm glad to see you. Ooh, you're so close, Abby. You're doing so great. There's Alex. Let's give Alex some cherries too. And Evelyn. This looks very wonderful. That's kind of you. Please don't eat the cherry. Please just give it. This is cool. Thanks. The beach is a cool place to hang out sometimes. Yeah. And Evelyn doesn't want to talk to us. That's fine. Scorpion carp. There's no way, Elliot. Hi, Emily. Oh, hi. It's nice of you to visit me like this. There you go. Thank you. I'm feeling positive energy from this gift. Oh, there's like a bunch of people up here too from Jazzercise. Jody and I think just Marnie. Jody and Marnie are the only two that we need to gift. Thank you. This makes my day really special. There, Jody's done. Has Jody been done? I think Jody's actually been done. Thank you. No problem. Oh, and that Max Marnie. I'm going to sleep well tonight. That yeah, that's usually what happens when you exercise. Um, I don't know where Maru will be. Will she be tinkering? Because I don't think she'll be... Oh, there she is. Perfect. Hey, Maru. Can I actually give you one of these first? This is a super gift. Thank you. And then a movie? Sure, I'll meet you at the theater. Let's go. Let's go. Actually, before I do this, let's see what you like from movies. Let's see what foods you like. Star cookie and the star drop sorbet. Oh, and the... The crane machine is free. I suck at this game. Ah, oh my gosh, I bonked everything. The plant is too heavy. So close, what the heck, it bounced so far. I missed! I oh, hope Gunther's always here. Gunther's always just into the movies. I just want to. Oh, is these plants new? That plant's new, the broccoli looking one.
No. Please. Yay. We got it. Let's try and get, I don't know, a Junimo, I guess. I didn't put that far enough. Ah, uh, left. Oh no. Okay. We'll stick with just this one plant for now because I don't want to spend too much time here. Yay, thank you. A deluxe tree. It looks so cool. All right. Ooh, Marlon's in here too. And Gil, look at Gil sitting on the chair. That was an interesting one. What do you think, Gil? Gil? He's out cold. <laughs> hey, Mark. I just saw the movie myself. Not bad. Uh, would you like a snack for your guests? Yes. So Maru really loves star cookies. She also likes the black licorice. And those are the two. So we're going to get the star cookie for Maru. Well, it's over tomorrow. See once the movie starts. All right, let's watch the movie. Oh, Pam and Penny are here. Nice. Oh, I'm going to stretch. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Oh my gosh, it has the 90s like swish, swish on it. Natural Wonders, exploring our vibrant world. This is like something that like would play when I was in elementary school. Oh my gosh. The Fern Islands, tropical paradise 80 miles off the southern coast. The islands formed due to volcanic activity in the region and are still growing. Maru is taking notes. Ah, I see. That's very interesting. Yay. Maru is really enjoying her star cookie. The warm climate of the Southern Ocean allows for extreme biodiversity. In short, the island is teeming with life. Now we move north to the bustle of Zuzu City. It's a world of concrete and steel, illuminated by the glow of city light. The conditions may be harsh, but still we find abundant life. To the west, alone in the vast gem sea, lies Prairie Island. That'd be still waiting for a mod that actually makes Prairie Island. In spite of its name, the land is home to a diverse array of natural biomes. The island is known for an abundant population of raccoons. Is that where these raccoons come from? Finally, we return to the mainland to visit one of the most pleasant areas of the continent, Stardew Valley. The temperate climate of the valley is perfect home for a variety of woodland creatures and insects. What a beautiful place. I like that one. The movie concluded for tonight. We hope you enjoyed the show. One heart. That was really interesting. I had no idea so much life could be found in the big city. Yeah, so we got one heart from that, I guess. That's fine. Penny's enjoying... Engaging a lively discussion about the film. Pam is engaging a lively discussion about the film. Cool. Thanks. Let's rock and roll. We'll drop off this fruit. And then we'll go and build our last obelisk. Oh, so exciting. I'm so excited to build this last obelisk. Oh yeah, I wanted to plant some more trees up there too, didn't I? Pineapples away. Okay, and we need 10. And 10. Oh my gosh, there's so many. And was it 10 iridium bars, I think? We'll just grab that. It's fine. <laughs> we have this deluxe plant. What does this look like outside? Because this might be something nice that we can kind of put down to feature. Can we even put it outside? Eh, it looks okay. Uh, I think, like, it doesn't look good, like, blended in like that. But we could put it, like... Eh, it looks okay. We can find a more intentional place for it. Just trying some things out. Like, what if I put it in behind here? It looks okay. It gives a bit more movement, which is nice. I think that's what I'm going for. It's just like a little bit more movement. Anyways, let's take care of this before... I mean, we have until 11pm. I'm not too worried about it, but... 
What the heck is this? Oh yeah, the dark hat tree. It's like, what is this in my inventory? Oops, didn't mean to do that. Probably go check on the mushroom cave now too. I think mushrooms might be up. The debris is spreading. Hello, I would like to use your magical book. I can also talk to you. Hi Marcos, I trust I've been dabbling in the dark arts. Nope, Um, I don't have anything to give you. I could give you an iridium bar, I guess, maybe. Would you like iridium bars? We want to build you, warps to, warps you to the beach. Nice, and we're gonna tuck that one right there. I'm gonna have to move some of those, because now they're all lopsided. Never mind, they're fine. I wish I could move this over one, but I can't. Like, it has to be kind of lopsided like that. That's okay. That's okay. Alright. Let's go check mushrooms, see what's happening with mushrooms. off this there we go no purple mushroom okay I might sacrifice one of or five of our iridium quality ones then because I want to get this raccoon quest going it's very dark over here we should make some you know what I'm thinking is making some braziers for it though I don't know if I want the stump or the carved. Probably the stump. There you go. Just a little bit of light in there. Sure. I don't know how I feel about those ones. I'm going to try and change those out, but we'll see. Okay, let's put this cat tree down for our cutie roo. I don't know where. Put it here for now. Put this plant down over here for now. Again, I'm not too worried about decorating in here quite yet. Quite yet. We'll put this iridium away. And I was thinking about looking at how to path here. I think we're going to get some weathered flooring for, because that's where the clock's going to be, if that's not clear. <laughs> this is where the golden clock's going to go. It's going to live in here somewhere. Can I path here without warping? Ah! That's what I was trying not to do. Crap. That's okay. I love how you can path under it now, though, so it kind of is a bit more seamless. That looks so nice. Good change. Applaud. Very, very good change. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Maru dislikes the black licorice. What am I saying? She dislikes that black licorice. Do not give her black licorice. That will not end well. go oh that looks so nice with it underneath i don't know that's just me there we go and then i think we can do like a little bit more of a lead up to it but i think i'm gonna leave it like that and then we can do maybe yeah we'll do that 
We grab two more weathered path, and I think that's all that we kind of want over there for weathered path. Oh, I need to make it. And I'm thinking while we're here and we're kind of in the mindset, let's make, um, do we want to make marble? We can only make one. Oh, it needs aquamarine too. Two golden braziers to put up here for our eventual golden <clears throat> clock. Light up that area nicely. There we go. And let's go to bed. It's 110. So tomorrow, I think, will be like a tree day, both chopping and planting. Yeah, it'll be a tree day. No, oh, I'm stretching, sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm slow. Is it someone's birthday? No, I think it's Kent's birthday tomorrow. So let's look up Kent. We might just have to give him a rabbit's foot. Because he likes roasted hazelnuts. And Fiddlehead Risotto, which I don't think we can make either. Actually, maybe the Risotto. I don't know. We don't really have the veggies, though. Where is it? I'm blind. I am super blind. I don't know where the Fiddlehead Risotto is. Maybe it's because I haven't learned it yet. That might be. I thought I did learn it, though. Yeah, maybe I just don't know it, which is okay. If I don't know it, I don't know it. Oh, there. Oil, fiddlehead, fern, and a garlic. Do we have a garlic? I don't know if we have a garlic. Yay. Thanks, everyone, for coming to my art show. Yeah, no problem, Leah. And your novel's finished. Giving a public reading this afternoon, and uh, Caroline gave us a cauliflower. Thanks, Caroline. And we do not have a garlic. Okay, do we have garlic seeds? We do, so we can grow some of those. Okay. Which we will work on soon. Nice, let's go get our iridium and our buffs as well. Tend to the animals. Yeah, this like big pile of grass is bothering me. Six, holy. Prismatic butterfly. Oh my gosh. One of these days I'll find that prismatic butterfly. I see lots of butterflies, but none of them are ch changing color for us. Um, Animals. Y'all will work through this little grass eventually. I'm not too worried about it. Okay. I'm just trying to get on chestnut. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, you're not an animal. What the heck? Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, I was gonna go get those five, right? I should probably do that before I forget again. Egg, egg. Yay, you're a chicken, and I don't remember what color you were. Um, uh, I don't remember what color you were, crap. Sorry, I'm just looking up names. Ooh, these are really these are really busy names. Um, oh, have we done orchid yet? I don't know if we've done orchid yet. Have we done this? We haven't. Nice. Little baby orchid. Hello. I don't remember what color of a chicken you were, so we're gonna have to wait for you to grow up. We can do a void chicken, actually. We can do a void chicken. And then let's go get our milks, because I forgot. Whoops. 
those are pigs, so there's not going to be anything in there. I should make an ostrich incubator and start doing that too, though. Okay, ostrich incubator, I want, I think, four. Yeah, okay, we're going to... Sorry, I have I have some things, some things in my brain. We need four weathered path. And then can we make the ostrich incubator? No, because we need cinder shards. Okay, we have a way of getting cinder shards. Milks, milk, 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 and the truffle oil. Cool. Donk that all in. Take these four paths. Actually, before I do that, too, let's run back up here. Grab. Sucks that the quality is gonna get like stripped, but it's for the greater good. For the greater good. Okay, and we are going to. Use this weathered floor to... I think we can path in here. Yeah, there we go. There. You're not my horse. <laughs> oh, and I saw some duck eggs. Whoops. Oh, and you're a... Uh, you're a... Uh, whoops. gonna be like a tree growing up i think so right so can i oops i'm trying to take chestnut through like the worst place possible let's plant some more trees let's just grab sure we'll grab all of them and then move them down Put one seed back and i was thinking can i oh i can just get back here nice i need my grass starter We're gonna, uh, I don't wanna do this. Oh crap, how can I do this without mowing down the fence stuff? Ah, shoot. That's okay. Mm, yep, right there. I wish you could put it under the fence. That's so, so upsetting. Okay, there we go. There we go. And then I'm thinking, I planted some, did I plant some trees up here? No. Okay, I'm thinking I want some trees here. Now that this is kind of grown in, so I can plant a pine tree there. I can plant an oak tree here and a maple tree here and then another pine tree there. And I'm thinking one right here as well. Let's do another oak tree right there. Actually, we'll do a maple tree because maple trees like really nice. I keep on forgetting the maple trees actually are like super gorgeous. Rose bowl. There we go. And I'm thinking up here we'll plant some trees as well. Like I want a pine tree right there, pine tree right there, pine tree right there. And I'm thinking probably, can I do this without? Yes, perfect. A pine tree right here if I can, if it will let me. It won't let me. What about right here? Yes, right there. Okay, so let me can just put grass in behind. Then let's put grass everywhere else here for now. Again, we will revisit that once it ungrasses. Okay, so now we need to degrass a bunch here. So I'm going to put another pine tree in here. So it'll be in one, one, two, three, up three. Can I not? Oh, because I can't put it right next to the greenhouse. That's so annoying. Okay, so then I'll just do it one, two, three, up. And same thing on this side. One, two, three, right there. Let's see, one, two, three, right there, I guess. I don't know if we'll be able to do that on this side, unfortunately. One, 
two, three. No, okay, that's fine. Well, let's put down grass in here again, which we will fill up with other things soon. Soon, I would say. Um, okay, so now after that, I was thinking I might fence in this a little bit, but we'll see. Um, not worrying about that too much right now. We can plant some trees in here. So I'm going to have to, yeah, get some of this out, which is fine. Do a pine, a pine, and a pine. I think that's as high as I'm going to want it to go. Maybe I'll do an oak right there. Oak right there, and a maple right in can I not plant right there? And then let's grass this up so that they don't spread all crazy everywhere. This pine tree will probably spread a little bit. That's fine. Let those grow in and then we can see about putting in other decorations. And let's get some gravel paths. A path over there. Do I have any gravel path? I don't think so. Oh, I do. Now, I'm not going to worry too much about fences again because they're just like, they, they're they going to die on us. they going to die. Right, because we had some like, we had some fences here that we no longer can put there. Whoa, that grass like really spread onto the... Um... But I want to start to make a little bit of a path here. Just one that weaves, you know. Just weaves down, weaves through here a little bit. And then connects up there. Yeah, like that. Okay. So then we can boop, boop, really quick. It's okay. We have the grass to replace it. Connect you. And I think it'd be fun to have some trees. Like have a tree right here, actually. Kind of hide this path a little bit. Bonk. And let's do a maple tree and an oak tree. And then we can actually do another maple tree right here. There we go. And now let's grass the snot out of this so that when they grow up, they won't spread. too heavily. We'll see how that looks when that grows in. I think that'll be nice. Let's do the same right here. I'm thinking actually two oak trees. Two oak trees will look nice. And then we can do... two maple trees and behind like that yeah and then we'll just regrass everything here there we go we'll wait about putting trees on the sides here because they'll spread even these trees might spread but that's okay put grass along the edge here i'm gonna put grass around our apple tree too because i think that's fine just kind of fill in this area a little bit Make it feel a little bit more lively over here. And do I have any? I do. Okay, so we're going to... Yeah. Add just a little... There, a little path there. Then we can just grass in here. There. Yeah, that looks fine. That looks good too. Again, we're going to wait on fencing though, so it's going to look a little sparse there for now. I'm going to grass in here because the grass will not grow here because it's on the, the thicker grass. And I can grass in here along this path just so we can get an idea of what it will look like with... Look at that! It's like a little overgrown... Oh, I love that. Can I grass here? I can, but I think I need to pull this up. Grass, then plant. There, now it's a little tucked in there. I kind of like that. Yeah, that looks like... Actually, you know what I might do is I might... Scythe that up. Then we can put a path underneath, like a two-stone path. So it's more like there's like a cement pad under it or something. I don't know. 
see how that looks. See how we feel about that. Yeah, that looks that looks okay for now. We'll see if we stick with it. Um, I want to do the same thing over here, but those are both working right now, so we cannot. We cannot. I think it'll be fun to do maybe a little few little bee house things right there. We'll see. Okay, that's that's kind of what I wanted to do there. Let's chop down some trees now, with our fleeting amount of time. Just want to get some trees grown or planted so that they can grow over the next little bit. So we can see how they how they turn out, how we feel about them. Cause these ones once these ones grew in, like it's like, wow, that looks awesome. And there's a few more that are gonna grow in too. Yeah, but we're gonna add in a few more meandering paths here and there too, once we get a little bit more familiar. Hello? Did you are you okay? Got lost probably. I'm lost. So many twigs. I see that one hiding in that bush. Oh, it feels so good to have all the obelisks. Next up is the return scepter. Return scepter and then and then the golden clock. But yeah, the return scepter will be awesome because once we get that, then I'm going to move our mini obelisk to make it a bit more functional and less of like a panic button obelisk, you know. Oh, my, hello? I can't get onto chestnut. I'm sorry that I put your face into a bush chestnut. I tend to do that a lot, hey? Slowly build up here. We haven't turned hardwood in the the shed for a little bit though so we have some we have some work we can do there which is good just want to cut these down now because they they'll regrow for us so midnight we'll do a little cleaning up over here because this has gotten way out of hand And it will just continue to get out of hand to the point that we can't walk through it. So we gotta, we gotta maintain it somehow. Here we go. I can probably go until 1 a.m. I think I'll be okay until 1 a.m. Okay, this tree will be our last one. Yeah, because it's 1 a.m. It'd be 1 a.m. time. Where is Chestnut? There's Chestnut. I love this hat on Chestnut. I'm sorry. I It looks so great. Ten moss from that. Wow, it's really illuminated up here. It looks really good, but you can kind of see the dark patches a little bit. Hey, like there's kind of dark right here. We could make a. Is there? Let's make the wooden brazier and let's put this wooden brazier kind of up here. Let's put it like right there. There. Lights up that area a little bit. Get in the house. <laughs> ah. <laughs> there we go. Asleep behind the plant. That's okay. Oh, big stretch, big stretch. Oh, and zooming into the next day. I think it's Kent's birthday today. Oh, it's a raining day. You know what that means. I'm hoping it's a good luck day. I think we're going to finish our fishing collection today. Yeah, Kent's birthday. And we don't have anything for Kent because we don't have garlic. 
raining on the island and it's a bad state okay i think that's okay for fishing i think we'll be okay um so let's get our rod let's grab you and i was gonna get i think i have a seafoam pudding in here yeah just for this occasion Let's just grab out all of this bait, except for one. And let's go and check. Yay! Grab that. And we're gonna grab... Oh, we do have an Iridium quality one. Yay! Okay, while we're out and about, let's grab some other gifts. Like, we can grab a cactus for Sam. Um, where are you, cactus? And we can grab... Just wanted that snail for Vincent. That's why I did that. Ooh, fish pond is ready. Yay. Silver star fish. We have an iridium quality lava eel that I'm going to just donk. Okay, so we have these gifts. Who else do we need? We need... Uh, is Lewis done? I think Lewis is pretty much done, right? Okay, so we can get Shane, um, Demetrius, sure. I think Maru likes diamonds. And does anyone else? I think Evelyn, right? We have Evelyn, Emily, Clint, Dwarf. Wizard. Um, who else? Pierre sucks. We're just gonna... Ah, we'll give Pierre a rabbit's foot. We have Abigail. Leo, we can go get a feather for. I don't know where Leo will be. He might be on the island. Um, Jazz, we can get pink cake. So we have a decent amount of those. Gus, we can get a orange for. Alex, uh, and then Penny. Oh, right, Penny. Okay, let's get an orange for Gus. Looking good in here. Orange for Gus. There we go. finish off this row of neglected <laughs> garden pots. That's my bad. Ah. There we go. Done. Next time we will interact with those, we'll be to harvest them. Okay, I think we're... I need a rabbit's foot for Alex. Uh, let's just do the regular one. It's fine. Okay, let's go and give some gifts. Let's go and give some gifts. I know we're not... We don't have, like, everyone, but... I mean, we have a good, a good haul, I would say. A good haul. Hi, Pam. Sorry that you're working in the rain, Pam. 
Oh, I didn't get my buff, because what if it's a fishing one? Let's go and check. No, it's speed and sure, ores. You never know, might find ourselves in the mines at some point doing some random shenanigans. Oh, we need to go kill some serpents, right. Maybe we can take care of that today too, even though it's a bad luck day, which eh, maybe means that we'll get some more serpents. Okay, so did I get anything for Pierre? Oh, stop telling me how to live my life. Hey, cut it out. We're letting you live here for free of charge until you finish school. It seems like you don't appreciate that at all. Stop trying to make me feel guilty. I appreciate that you and Dad are helping me out, but expecting me to dress the way you want is ridiculous. I'm not a little girl anymore, Mom. Um, you're right. I'm sorry. Is, is, is someone there? Ooh, gosh. I'm just... Don't mind me. I'm just... I got cold in the rain. Just need to warm up by the fire. Sorry, I was slouching so much. I just sat up again. Posture check. Um, <laughs> some of you are like, I'm in bed. I don't know what you want from me. What did we get for Pierre? Did I get anything for Pierre? We'll give him a diamond. I don't know. Whatever. This is very kind of you. I like this. Can I talk to you now? Uh, people stay indoors on days like this. It's not good for business. Yeah, well, I mean, that makes sense. It's literally crappy outside Pierre. Okay, Evelyn. Oh, I didn't get a leak for George. Crap. Ah. Uh, oh, hi, Marcus. Look at all these books. I haven't read a single one. Just the thought of cracking one open makes me nervous. Uh, but you can't make a decent living in this world without a brain. I'm worthless. That's crazy. You're a genius. You have all your. We all have our strengths and weaknesses. Worthless? Yeah, that about sums it up. We all have our strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, I'm not going to give up. Uh, if I work hard, I can do anything. Hey, maybe one day soon we'll have dinner and discuss philosophy. <laughs> philosophy. Isn't that what you smart people talk about? <laughs> Another one? Nope. Hi, Alex. I have this for you. I love this. Hey, awesome. I love this stuff. Yay. We're doing good. Six out of eight. Hmm. That's not good weather for sports. And I have a diamond for Evelyn. Oh, this is absolutely marvelous. You made an old lady very happy. And I have nothing for, um, which we call him? George yet, but we can come back. That's fine. And let's see. Are you still just in your room, Gus? I'm just going to barge in on you probably, hey? Yeah, you're just vibing. That's okay. Here you go. Oh, you're watching TV. You're giving this to me? I am speechless. Hey, you look like you could use a beverage. I mean, we're in your room, Gus. I don't know. Okay. Where are you? There you are. Let's pop down to these houses down here. See what's going on. Did I get a duck feather for Leo? I did not. Oh no, the argument. Oh, I always clean out the questions. It's your turn this week. You're being childish, Haley. I do the vast majority of the work in this house, and you know it. Oh, it's that new farm boy. Well, I mean, it's we've known each other for two years, Haley. He has a name, you know. Thank you. Hey, I bet you'll understand my point of view here. Uh, I'm really sorry to involve you in this, Marcus. Haley's complaining because I asked her to clean under the cushions. It's only because I cleaned under them last week. 
Stop whining and just clean it. Haley, Haley, why not have this be your one weekly job? Emily, take the high road and do it this time. Let's be a little bit frank with Haley. Tough love. All right, you win. I guess this is, can be my job every week. Then there won't be any reason to argue over it. Thanks, Marcus. That was a great solution. Oh, I love this one. Come in, Marcus. I want to show you something. Apparently, we haven't been in here since they've been... It's my secret hobby. I've been practicing for months. Now sit back and relax and allow yourself to be carried away to a better place, okay? and the rainbows and the what are those oranges i love this so much and the aliens the cutscene makes me so happy because it's just like the personification of just like letting loose you know just like letting down inhibitions and what people care about you that was amazing look at her go thank you Um, that was quite a workout. I haven't been this sweaty since I ordered the pepper platter at Abigail's graduation fiesta. <laughs> well, I better take a shower. Thanks for watching. Graduation fiesta? I thought she said she was still in school. Maybe it was like high school and now she's in university. Hi, Haley. I have something for you. Is that coconut? I love this. Um, I've decided I'm going to organize my clothes today. I'll have to row it all the last year's styles to make room for the new ones. Sure. <laughs> Hi, Emily. I have something for you as well while you're doing your crafting, your DIY table. An amethyst. This will protect me on those nights working at those late nights working at the saloon. How are we doing? Six out of eight. Don't tell anyone about the dance. That was for your eyes only. Okay. Okay, let's go to Clint, I think. Actually, no, we're going to go next door. What am I talking about? We have a snail for you, Vincent. Wow, thank you so much. This is terrific. Yeah, let's make up for the banana. You're not as boring as most grown-ups. Sam, I got some for you. Yeah, it's my absolute favorite. Sam is busy practicing the guitar. And then, where is Kentarino? Oh no, is he? Is this the day that he goes to like the Adventurer's Guild? Is he lurking in the backyard? Okay. Oh no, I don't know where Clint... Where Clint? Jeez, where Kent is. I'm going to have to probably wiki this. Wait, I should have him pulled up. Let's see. What is it? It's the Thursday the 4th. Let's see what his schedule looks like. Raining. I had homestanding in his living room. Leaves homestand under a tree just north of his house at 2 p.m. Huh? Did I just not see him? I might not have seen him. Oh, no. Oh. Shane? Oh, dear. Oh, is that who my diamond was for? It was for Marnie? Whoops. Ooh. Sorry, big yawn. Marcus, can you do something? He's out cold. Ugh. Wow. Shane, what's the matter with you? All you do anymore is, is mope around your room and drink beer. Poor Jazz. You wouldn't understand. I'm worried. What's your plan? Don't you ever think about the future? Plan? 
Hopefully I won't be around long enough to need a plan. This is like Jazz kind of leaning into Marnie, gripping her sleeve. That's the kind of energy I get. Oh. Jazz. I'm sorry. <gasps> we have the trash bear. It's year three. Sorry, I was thinking about how he... There you go. Wow, thank you. Miss Penny is teaching me how to write in cursive. Jess, that's seven. How are you doing, Marnie? Are we done? We are done. Never mind. I don't need to worry about you. Where is Shane? Is he not here? I already don't know where Shane goes. Um, We have Penny. We still need to find Clint. Clint. Or we don't need to find Clint. We need to find Kent. Did I just miss him? Did he just blend into the house? No. I swear he's not here. Okay. I don't know where Kent is. What the heck? Well, we can go do Clint. We know where Clint will be. Oh, I didn't do wizard. We need to go do wizard as well. Hi, Clint. I have something for you, buddy. This is exactly what I've been looking for. How are you doing? I heard Emily has a friend who lives in the desert. Do you know anything about her? She likes flowers. Um, yeah, I don't know. Where the heck would Shane be? Does Shane also work in the museum? I think we might get the cutscene for Elliot's book reading. Yep. Marcus, you made it. I feel so relieved to be done with my book. It's like an elephant has been lifted off my shoulders. I don't think I got this cutscene saying what book he should write, so this is awkward. I'm doing these out of order. Well, I better get started with the reading. Wish me luck. Good afternoon, everyone. Hi. Ever since I was a young boy, I dreamt of becoming a writer. When the time came for me to leave home and start my own life, I moved here. I was drawn to the peaceful beauty of the valley and hoped that days of quiet reflection in this ideal idyllic atmosphere would fan the literacy flames literary flames jeez after countless hours scribbling at my desk writing desk i present to you the first novel the rise and fall of planet yazo is a sci-fi epic spanning of thousands of years in an exotic planetary system sounds like dune um chapter one commander yetkin stepped through the golden archway as the airlock snapped shut behind him today was his first day on planet yazo and all 14 of the Alliance delegates had seen, had been summoned to the Grand Spire. And then the crowd disperses. And this, as the seventh moon descended behind the horizon, the planet of Yazo would begin its sinister transformation, an event for which Commander Yekin was completely unprepared. Oh, whoops, sorry, Willie said something. Well, that concludes my reading. I'll be selling signed copies of the book by the front desk. Thanks for listening. Well, how was it? <laughs> Thanks. You know, I got the idea for making a sci-fi book from you. Do you remember? No. <laughs> That's why I decided to the dedicate this book to you. Why, thanks. Oh, Penny's in here. Yay. Hi, Penny. Thank you. I really love this. The raindrops are really loud on the metal roof of our trailer. I know. Hopefully we'll help you with that soon. And I know you didn't ask for the help. Okay, we've done Clint, we've done Penny. Don't know where Shane is. Shane's out of vibing somewhere. Um, is he in Pierce? Then we need to go north. No. Linus, gold bar. Uh, I would do that, Linus, if we still need friendship, but we don't. Actually, let's go north for Maru and Demetrius. Actually, we need to grab... Some more diamonds. That's who that was for. It was for Maru. Do, 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 do. I, I, I don't know where Kent is. He might be back in his house now. Okay, so we need a diamond for Maru. Yeah, that's fine. I think this is quicker to go up there. And we should bring some more stuff because Robin is done building. Let's build another shed. 
I know that we have like two sheds that are not even half full right now, but they, they're long-term plans. Oh, look at this. This could be for George. That was a good reminder. Hi, Robin. Can you construct farm buildings? Can you build a shed? This might be the last shed we build here. I don't know. We'll see. And I want to build it kind of here. So we'll build it in line with this. Like kind of here. Yeah, there. And then we can have a little little area in between. I like that. Thanks, Robin. Demetrius, I have something for you. I have... You're giving this to me? It's amazing. How's the farming business going? Is it? It's present season, isn't it? Hi, Maru. I have a diamond for you. Oh, that wow, Marcus. This is spectacular. Four hearts, nice. When it rains, I have a good excuse to work on my gadgets, I think is what she was saying, all day. Okay, let's go do dwarf real quick, since we're up here. There's another leak, I want that leak. Ugh. There you go. Hey, I really love this stuff. You can find great things in the mines. How are you doing? Six out of ten. Um, you're you're not a spy sent by the shadow people, are you? Don't think so. Uh, and then how many was it? It was thirty thirty. So we're gonna take these to make the ostrich incubator. I think it was thirty. I hope it was thirty. And let's go and see if we can find Shane and Kent. And then we have George as well, but George is, I mean, he's always where he is. <laughs> oh my gosh, another Alex cutscene, what the heck? I hope I knocked. Oh, hey, I was just doing my daily strength training routine. Sorry, I have no shirt on. Uh, Marcus, I've been meaning to talk to you about something. I've started to realize that, well, I've started to... I've been really rude towards you in the past. You know, about going pro and all that. I actually really like Alex's, like, redemption arc. And apparently, like, with, like, a male farmer, it's actually pretty, like... It gets pretty, like, in-depth and, like like lovely like wholesome so i guess i'm gonna actually be cut out for the professional sports maybe it's just a childish dream you know anyways i want to apologize to you for bragging and being annoying about it i appreciate that you stayed friends with me through all of that <laughs> what a guy i'm empowered all right diary Oh, jeez, I almost gave him. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Here you go. No, don't eat it. Yeah, eat the leak in front of George. This is my favorite thing. Thank you. Did I talk to you already? Hello, Marcus. Want to watch TV with me? I like how he actually, like, becomes friendly. Um. Okay, where is Shane? Shane's actually maybe in here. No, not yet. Where on earth is Shane? And also, where on earth is Kent on his birthday? This is the person who I really wanted. We're spending all day just running around in circles looking for one person. What the heck? The whole family except for Kent is here. Okay, it says raining at home in his living room. Leaves home, stands under a tree just north of his house. Then he returns home and stands at the entry. At north, standing under a tree. I don't see him. D where is Kent? Then there's a Friday and Saturday. There's a Sunday if player has seen Alex's 14 start event. And then there's a regular Sunday. Then there's a regular schedule. Leaves home stands under a tree just north from his house. Where is he? My gosh, where's Shane? Okay, well, let's go do wizard. Let's hope that the other ones pop up. I'm going to check in here once again for Shane. See if he kind of came home. No. No. Because I think the cutscene just like tells us to come in here. Marnie's staring into the depths of her lava microwave. I 
Um, we'll check Trash Bear tomorrow. I don't think Trash Bear exists on rainy days. Help us and I'll give you something nice. Donk. Yay. Thanks, Bobo. Take this. Four mystery boxes. Eh. You received mystery box times four. We're doing great, Bubble. Do you sell mystery boxes now? No, that's so cool. This jungle tank is so cool. And I think the jungle tank is just like... It's just another fish tank. I think that's all it is. I think what I was thinking is I'm like, do you put like lizards in there? <laughs> Are lizards a thing? But no, I think it's just a different type of fish tank. Ah, this is imbued with potent arcane energies. It's very useful for my studies. Thank you. 8 out of 10. Stormy days is the only time I can cons uh, I can commune with certain elementals. And 9 out of 10. Is that our second gift for the wizard? No, so we can give wizard another gift tomorrow. Nice. I think I still need to give wizard a void essence too. So we will do that. Uh, we need to be looking for Shane and Kent. It's 6.30, so that's another kind of part of the day. Hopefully something has changed for them. Is Kent home? Where's Kent? Where does he go on his birthday? Where is Kent on his birthday, Stardew? Adventurers Guild. Um, oh, by the creek, walking north. He's up. He's up north, apparently. Walking. This is where expanded because it's talking about like Olivia's house. Rise at the summit. Stands at the top. Starts to walk back home at eight o'clock. Okay. So maybe we'll we'll head up to the train station area. Where is Shane? Oh, Harvey. I forgot that you existed, Harvey. Uh, or read anything interesting in the library lately? I don't have any gifts for you. Stardew Shane, because this is going to bug me if I can't find Shane either. Springtime. Um, Monday through Friday. Raining, no... What is it? It's Thursday, Sunday, Monday through Friday. Um, leaves his house. Stands in the kitchen. Returns to his room. Oh, did he go get help? Is that why? Is he go, is he out of commission because he went and go got, got help? Did we already get that cutscene? I think I did this on my hemlock playthrough too. That's so funny. Okay. We need to find Kent because he's having some very introspective kind of moments. Is he just going to like phase through the boulder up here? Like if that's where he is. Also, we can check on these trees. Oh, okay. They're kind of growing in. Kent, are you up here, my friend? I'm not going to wait up here. I'm going to wait kind of down here because I'd, I'd rather see him kind of like if because if he's coming from over here, I want to make sure I see it. Where are you, Kent? Crossing the train track at 9 p.m. So he should, let's go and check. He should be walking down here. Closer to nine, he'll be crossing the train tracks. Hello? Hello? Oh my gosh, where is Kent? Honestly, if I can't find him, I might reset the day just because, like, I really want to give him this darn gift because I would, like, be close to maxing him out. That'd be close to maxing him out. That might be a Stardew Valley expanded. <sighs> what? Uh. 
where were you and why are you in bed at 9.50? Okay, well, I don't think I'm going to reset the day because we spent so long on this day. What a butt. What an absolute butt. Someone tell me, like, tell me in the comments. I won't be offended. Like, where was he? Where was he all day and how did I just miss him? Okay, well, it's 10, 10 p.m. Ah, maybe, I, I don't know. Do I want to restart the day? It depends. Okay, if we catch a legend, we won't. If we don't catch a legend, then I will restart the day. Which means that we're going to add on. Just because, like, I wasted so much of the day just waiting for him, which is so annoying. That's so annoying. Oh, that looks so cool. Can I just... Can I cancel all this? I don't want to catch regular fish. I want to actually... No, it has to be from here. It's going to get the bubbles, but like, it has to be off of here. Nope. Nope. Oh, what the heck? I was probably oh, did I speak too soon? What the heck? That was that was the easiest legend I've ever caught. That that was so easy. It like stayed at the bottom for so long. Okay, we're not resetting the day. I'm just reading something. Leaves home, go stand on a tree between the sewer entrance and the bridge to the beach. Oh, that's where he was. Oh, do I want to restart the day? I really want to restart the day, but I don't want to gift no, we're just gonna deal with our consequences. We'll just have to gift him more throughout. It says returns home and goes to bed at 11, but he was in bed by, like, before 10. I got lied to. There we go. But anyways, I need to stop dwelling on the things that are not so positive and focus focus on the things that are positive, and that's that we finished all of our fishing collection. That's so great. That's so great. I love that. Do, 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 do. So now, I'm going to take these legendary fish, and I think I'm going to put them in that... Um, like that, whatever, the tropical, I can't remember what it's called. And I think we can put... Oh, I'm keeping that in here. I think we can put like a seaweed. I don't know, let's grab a seaweed, let's grab a stone. Um, let's grab... Where are they? You, 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 you... And let's see, can we put them in here? Because I don't know. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. No, we can't. What the heck? I thought that was a fish tank. What the heck do we put in here then? Okay, someone can tell me what that's for. Because I don't know. We're going to go to bed with all the legendary fish in our inventory. <laughs> Dink, didn't sell anything. Okay. <clears throat> it's Friday. It is a regular Friday. It's a good luck day. Okay. This is going to be an exciting letter. Oh, George taught us spicy eel. And we learned rice pudding from Evelyn. And we got your angling skills surpass even my old pappies. I'm impressed. This star drop's been passed down from... Willie Senior to Willie Junior for, oh heck, probably a thousand years. Seeing as I don't have any kids, I want you to have it. Oh, it's been passed down for a thousand years, and then I just crunch on it. Like, thanks. <laughs> you found a star drop. You feel an unwavering connection to the valley itself. Your maximum energy level has increased. 
Yay, so we have five out of the seven star drops. That feels really great. Okay, let's put away some of the stuff now. Bonk. Bonk. Oh, right, I was going to go to Robin and... Did I, I... I did build the shed. Never mind, we're fine. And legendary fish I have kind of in here. This is like our treasure... Treasure-esque... And then I have some mystery boxes. I can craft the ostrich incubator now. And I can grab an ostrich egg then. I'm going to keep the fishing rod on me for now. Put this pepper away because I think Shane's going to be a bit out of commission for a little bit. I think that's what's happening. If not, then that's okay. We'll figure it out. Ooh, is that our... Yes, our sturgeon wants something. Hello, what would you like? A nautilus shell. We have that. I think we do, at least. We do. We have 11 of them. Nice. And we are going to make a stone sign to put onto the lava eel. Donk. Donk. The fish seem happy. Yay. I need to remember to do hardwood too. Goodness. Let's go grab some hardwood. Get that easy 100 wood there. 10 cinder shards. Don't know what I want to do with these 10 cinder shards. I might just put them in here for now, just so we can start to store them in here. Because eventually, we are going to just have like that mini forge, right? So, okay, let's go do some animal things. Please do not leave. Again, if we don't pet everyone, we don't pet everyone. I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry too much about it. Whoa, we didn't do this yesterday. Whoops. Bonk and... Bonk. Get that going. Nice. Did I pet you? Did I pet you? I don't know who I pet. I don't know who I pet. Nice, look at you. Who's this feature void chicken? Nightshade, of course. Nightshade's like, spotlight on me, everyone. Hello, I'm here. Acknowledge me. Do a quick loop, see who we can get in the loop. There we go. Looks great. A new baby duckling hatched. Yay. Oh no, I don't have a name. Shuko. Uh, scroll, scroll, scroll. Oh, that one's really pretty. Oh, that's a really pretty flower. Magnolia. Magnolia! That flower looks really pretty. It's like white with like a pink thing. Where is that from in the world? If you have magnolias growing around you, that'd be really cool to hear. I mean, don't dox yourself if you don't want to dox yourself, but... I've never heard of or seen magnolias before. I just know it as like an interior decorating... people. Egg... Oh, are we gonna run out of room? Oh my gosh, we have an extra egg! We have an extra egg! Do all of our goat milks first. Finally catches up, immediately gets behind again. I'm gonna just take both these truffles out now, now that it's a new year. We're gonna be getting truffles a little bit more frequently. Especially as we get more pigs. There we go. Okay, um... 
let's go down here. And Marnie's actually in. We're going to buy some animals. We're going to buy two more rabbits. Four, eight, twelve, right? Is that what I want to do? Three. No, actually, I think I'm going to buy one more. I'm going to buy one more. Oh, look, we have duck on the water right now. We're going to buy one more duck. Because right now we have... Yeah, we're going to do one more duck, one more rabbit, and then we'll actually put our gold chickens in here eventually, I think, is what we'll do. So, uh, Ziana. No. We are going to name you... Sure, why not? We'll name you... Actually, no, because we have... What do we have? We have Whisper, we have Windy, so it needs to be a W name. Uh, Whisper, Windy, and... Looking at baby names that start with W. Wow, these are some of these are really cool. Oh, I like this one. I don't know why. Wick. Wick the rabbit. That's kind of cute. Send little Wick to his new home right away. Yay. Okay, we're going to let pigs do their thing, I think. We run over here. I think raccoon friends will still be okay. We're doing great, Bubble. I don't even I've lost track of how many of these are like when they pop up. I don't know. Coming here because I want to see. Oh, you're selling a rare seed. Okay, I was hoping for the retro catalog, but that's fine. Okay, so now I think we might go. We might go to the volcano today. I need to put something there. You know, looking at this, I kind of like the fence without the grass behind it. What would that look like here? Uh, I'll wait. I'll wait until the fence decays and then we can fiddle around with it. But let's go and do a turn. Actually, can we make some more? Can we make like 18 more of these? Yes. I think it's actually 17 that we need to make. 18 plus 17 is 35, right? Yeah, let's get another row of these, and then we can move the dehydrators to the other side. We'll have half preserves, half dehydrators. Actually, maybe half dehydrators is a little ambitious. I don't know. Is that ambitious? ramp up a little bit here on this poor empty shed thing. Yeah, I don't think I want like a crazy amount of dehydrators, but it'll be nice to have some. There we go, one left. Looks perfect. Okay. And let's toss in you. Before we go to the island, I'm gonna run over here. Man, this is like a empty area. We're gonna have to figure out what to do there. I think that'd be a nice place for ah no, because the mill will block the that's the the partner patio. We're gonna give a quick little visit to our pal in the sewers. Hello, pal in the sewers. It's Friday. I'm sorry. We're going to buy the wizard catalog. Oh, you can just buy multiple of them. That's so funny. 
Right. I think it's going to be like kind of like the last. That's almost as expensive as the full furniture catalog. My goodness. Oh, there's Sam. I don't have a gift for Sam. Ah. And we're going to take a quick peek at this wizard catalog. But I'm going to go put it in the house. Because I've seen, again, I've been kind of spoiled, which is unfortunate. But it's I'm also okay with it because things look really cool. Oh, look at this crop field. It looks so nice. Um, I'm going to do this in the house. I don't know why I decided to go down. But let's see. Let's see what this wizard catalog has for us. My ex-wife took all the furniture. Unfortunately, or fortunately, I had a good sense to make ethereal copies of everything and transcribe them into this book. Enjoy. M. Rasmodius. Yes! The decorative wizard door. I love this so much. The elixir shelf. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. A glyph, some runes, a small elixir shelf. Like, look at all these like stacked shelves. That's so cool. Void spirits broom. Wizard's bookcase. The wizard's tower. Book piles, cauldrons, this curly tree. I've seen a lot of these curly trees around. And so many books, a swamp plant, long elixir tables, books. Oh my gosh, this is an amazing catalog. The starry moon rug. Oh my gosh, the wizard bed. What is, I think this wallpaper is also really awesome. Wow. Okay, let's let's actually we're gonna decorate over here yeah i think we're gonna have some fun this is like everyone's using this it's very cliche but look at that wallpaper let me put a little door here that's like the back door i love that do these go these hang on the walls don't they yeah we're just gonna put them up so we can see what they look like that's super cute i love that We got these trees, which, yeah, these, I've seen a lot of these outside. People have been using them outside. Whoa, this rug is huge. I love it so much. Oh my gosh, this wizard catalog is amazing. That's not where I wanted to go. I thought that was how I left my house, but that isn't how I leave my house. I love that. That's awesome. Okay, so plan is... Plan is... Spend some time on the island, and we are going to try to get some enchantments going on on our rod let's check over here i think we did check over here but for some reason i'm like ah, are we gonna be getting attacked by weeds oh no but we have fiber land yay these weeds will become a problem soon look at all this fiber oh and this fiber finally became a problem too Oh, that feels so good to get all of that. Yay. 134. Should be good. I could probably bring back those duck feathers too. Yeah, that fiber will be a great help. Fifty-three. And I think next episode, we will have all of our ancient fruit finally grown in. Because these ones look just about ready. Which is also an awesome win. Okay, let's go drop off these seeds. We'll see if we have enough time to come back for them. I'm going to drop off the fiber too. 500 fiber. Crazy. Crazy. And I think I want to bring, yeah, we'll bring all of these, that's fine. But we got what we wanted on these, so I don't need these. We're going to bring the rod, though. And let's hope we get 20 cinder shards. Is it? A, I think it's a good luck day. I think we'll be okay. I think it's a good luck day. Oh, I didn't get my buffs. What if it was plus one ore? Oh, well. Oh, I see that button. Wait, that button's in like a really horrible spot. What the heck? 
feel like we really have to work hard to get to that button. Oh my gosh. That wasn't even... Oh my gosh. I think that if a button was that out of the way, that it would be just the one that you need. Apparently not. Well, it's a good thing that we brought water. <coughs> Excuse me, brought our watering can. Seven shards map. Wait, where's the what? Where the where the heck is the button? Oh my gosh, I was not expecting to be trapped on level one of the volcano for so long. Is it over here? It's probably over here. This is a big floor. There it is. Jeez. I'm not going to worry about that. Cinder Shard, or whatever they call the Magma Sprite. Do -do -do. As soon as we get Master on the Fishing Rod, then we can save up for the Cinder Con Shoes. Do -do -do. Cool. not get the ore if it's kind of just sitting there for us. We kill you because you're kind of more of our main source of cinder shards right now. the music I only hear bats <laughs> all right coal sure I'm gonna eat one of you I'm not gonna worry ah there's coal it's fine we'll worry about it Cinder shards. Ooh, and a lot of coal too. What the heck? More coal. Yeah, I love this. If we're ever if we're ever low on coal, we can just come to the volcano. Such a great repurpose of the volcano. Not repurpose, but additional use of the volcano. That was a little baby floor. It's already 11 p.m. though. My gosh. We're gonna start doing the fast track. Ooh, I want you because you get a set of shards. go. Not gonna worry about looking for other ones. Ooh, you're just like a monster floor. Okay. Twelve PM, we're on level seven. Ooh, I don't know. Or twelve AM geez. How am I going to do this? Oh, we did it. 
That was so close. I am so bad at just like zoning out and then just paying for the consequence of zoning out. Do one of you want to drop an animal cracker for me? I don't know if monsters drop them or the rocks give them to us. Ooh, there's a chest there. No. Oh, there's so much gold ore too. I should probably just bomb this. Dwarf hammer? I think we already have one of those, don't we? Oh, there's a button down there. Crap. Please be the one button that we need. Sounded like it. 1.10 a.m. No, I just wanted to get to the treasure floor. Big sad. Big sad. 1.30. We're not going to make it to the chest unless it's like right in front of us. Nope. This is one of these ones. All right. Well, we're just going to pass out here. Let's, get, let's try and get some shards while we're at it. How many do we have? We have 40. Okay, so we have two chances to get Master on the rod. Which, again, I know, like, we just literally finished catching all the fish, but... There we go. It will just feel good to complete that, so to speak. Do we ship things? We did ship things. Yay. Just a little baby money. <clears throat> I gotta adjust my mic. There we go. Now I need to adjust my body. Oh, yes. Forgot that we were okay. Let's go and do our rod. Let's get this message saying, yeah, Willie. Oh, I didn't read that was. Was that Leo found us? Oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't read it. Oh, no. I'm assuming it was a pass out message. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I missed a berry. That's okay. It's the end of the world. I missed a nature poop. <laughs> I think while we're... Actually, let's, let's grab... Grab these. I think we'll hit up the dig site before we go to the volcano. Got some bones, got some clay. Yeah, we'll do that. Oops. Get a bunch of artifacts that we no longer need entirely at least. There is no longer a dire need for them. Some mahogany trees, that's always welcome too. So, you know, we're cycling through some hardwood. A lot of wormies on the side. We don't have our pan on us, because it's still up north. Oops, oh no, that was a tree. I don't even have my, oh my gosh, I don't even have my axe on me. Okay, we're gonna have to revisit. We're gonna have to revisit. Because I'm gonna wanna chop down those trees and I'm gonna wanna get the, the wormies. The wormies are still underneath here, that's so funny. Okay, make my caps away, bombs away, bombs away. I didn't put away the thing. Here we go. Okay, now let's go to the top and let's see. Let's see. Can we get master on our... Oh, great. We need to finish our sword too, so that's part of it too. But we need to get galaxy souls for that. Let's see. Can we get master? Preserving? No. Efficient? No. And that's all we can do. Okay. Not today, friends. That's okay. We'll get it soon enough. So I'll put you and you away. And now we can go back to the dig spot. Or the dig site, sorry. And then we can... And then we can go home. Oops. I can get stuck on things, apparently, too. <clears throat> Do we get clothing or a furniture item today? No, just a bunch of skulls. Okay. Drop all that in there. We can drop this, this in here too. 
Wow, it's looking really good. I'm bringing these coconuts home with us, so don't, those don't need to be there. Um, I was going to bring home these as well. Yeah, because we have a lot of these. And I don't know. I think we, we, we run into Leo more on here than we do. Oh, well, look at how lovely it looks outside. Oh, yay. And it's Starfruit Day. Starfruit Wine Day. Um, let's clean up our inventory a little bit. Ever home a tarot tuber. Yeah, the Duck Brothers will come with us over here. I'm just gonna... I think we have one of those, and I'm too lazy to go to the Adventurer's Guild. <laughs> Sorry, I know that's horrible. Okay. Sturgeon Row that we just had in here. We'll let those kind of pile up before we preserve them, I think. And... Yeah, I think it's just some animal stuff now. Ooh, look at all those snails for Vincent. Give everyone a pet who's nearby. Crap milks. Which I think will let us catch up. Shouldn't be anything in here. Ostrich is still doing its thing. It'll probably be next episode sometime. Ostriches take a while to incubate. Say hi to our lovely coop animals over here. There's Wick, a little baby Wick. And gather up the goodies in here. Just a dino egg, which is good because I actually want to put a dino egg in. Nice. Alright, let's go, Chestnut. How is it already Saturday of this episode? My gosh. Ooh, and the shed is done. Nice, time to upgrade it. So it'll be ready next episode, I believe. And then we'll be good on sheds for a little bit. A little bit, I would say. I think that's everything. Yes. Here's some more milk so we can put through. Okay. Who can we gift before the end of the week? Pierre, Wizard, Clint, Pierre, Wizard, Clint, Leo, Jazz, Abigail, George, M, no, George, and then I just haven't gifted Kent at all. You know what? I think I'm going to still use this, um, this rabbit's foot on Kent, even though we're not going to get like the four times the amount of friendship with it. I think it'll still be a worthy use. Okay, so George, we can gift. Um, geez, where are my leaks? Can we gift like Haley and Maru and Haley? Yes, Shane, who might still be MIA. Demetrius, Harvey. Right, let's get a coffee for Harvey. Is it anyone's birthday? No. Yeah, it's a really good luck day. Okay. Um, who was I going to search up? I don't remember what I was going to be looking up. Haley, we can do another. Emily Clint, Dwarf. Um, Demetrius. I can just use this other strawberry. That's fine. <clears throat> use this other strawberry. Okay. And then we need... Wood and stone for the shed. Oh my gosh, our wood. Our wood is dwindling. We'll come do the star fruit after. Yay. 
magic isn't real. Oh, I didn't get a, whoops, um, construct farm buildings. Can you make me a large shed? No, I didn't want to move buildings. I would like you to build me a large shed and just, nope, it's on the wrong button again. Oh my gosh. I'm menu spamming. Okay. Now let's dwarf. Bring the hand to Linus. We haven't talked to Linus in a while. Hi, buddy. I have everything I need to survive and more. Nature plays a wonderful tune if you can only learn to listen. Nice. There you go, my friend. I really love this stuff. You can find some great things in the mines. Now we're going to find... We can go down to Clint. Um, who is this for? Large one of that. We'll see. We'll see. I've, I think I've accepted close to 30 of those and haven't completed a single one. <clears throat> Alright, Kent, are you home? Are you... You are. Jeez. Silly guy. There you go. My mom used to give me these. Um, nice. And Sam's not here, but that's okay. I think we've gifted Sam twice. We are looking for a Haley. Also an Emily. Never mind, we've gifted Emily twice. Or that's for Abigail, that's what that's for. I don't know where Haley's gonna be. Gosh. I'm gonna give Clint again, because Clint's like, he's just out of the way. I always just forget about him, I feel bad. And this is exactly what I've been looking for. Eight out of ten. Nice. Thanks, Clint. And we'll do a new movie next episode. Let's go gift George. Talk to everyone else in this house. There you are, George. This is my favorite thing. Thank you. The weekend is no different than any other time for me. Anyone home? No. Well, I mean, George is home, but... Is Abigail in here? Oh gosh. Is Abigail in here? Yes. This is, this is, it, wow, it's just my color. Thanks, Marcus. Um, nice. 7 out of 8. You're getting close. You're getting close. Okay, so let's go see if Leo's in... I mean, it's the weekend. Actually, Leo might be... He might be home. Is Harvey vibing up here? Oh no, I don't know where anyone is. I don't know their schedules. Because I'm used to having NPC map location. <laughs> so I can just look where they are. Is Harvey up here? Is Haley up here? Yay. Oh, there's Leo. Is that a coconut? I love this. I'm feeling the urge to go shopping. Ugh, I wish there was a mall here. Uh, still, still a work in progress with Haley, but that's okay. I'm going to put this in my nest. Yay, 8 or 10 with Leo. Maybe one day I'll visit Zuzu Silly, but I'm not even close to being ready yet. This world is already so strange to me, and I'm very comfortable here, right now. I'll talk to everyone. I think we could have brought in gifts, brought gifts for some of them. Oh, wow, Jazz is at eight. Nice. Okay, so now we need to find Harvey, who I, I don't know where the heck Harvey goes. Is he in this, like, random, like, backyard area here? Sometimes he comes down here, doesn't he? No, Kent's... Kent's vibing there, though. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where Harvey is. I don't know his schedule. Spring. It's spring 6. So that would be... It's a Saturday. Leaves house, goes to museum. Leaves museum to return to his room in the clinic at 3 p.m. So is he... Did I miss him? I don't know which way he would come to go to the museum. Would he come up here? No, I don't think so. 
Ah. Is Shane back? No. There's Lewis. I don't, the Harvey? What the heck? Why can I never find anyone when I want to find them? Regular schedules, hands around. Where's the clinic staff? Uh, walks around the park or the west of K. I don't think he's in here. Willie. Be nice to get Haley to four hearts for the flower dance because I think she's our lowest one. So to get that extra friendship bonus. Yeah, Haley's. Oh, Sam's on the island. Shane's on the island. Wait, is Harvey on the island? Harvey's on the island. Okay, well, we figure out where Harvey was. Wait, was Kent on the island on his birthday? Have I given gifts to all those people? I think Shane, we haven't. Shane and Harvey. Oh, and Gus. We can get an orange for Gus. We actually haven't been in our greenhouse either for a while. Whoops. Yep. That's what I was thinking was going to be happening. <laughs> Oops. So bad at remembering to put them away. Okay, and let's go and grab that hot pepper for Shane. They should all be coming back from the island now, right? I think they should all be coming back. Are they all still in their island get-ups? They are. Okay. Uh, okay. Nice. Hi, Alice. It's the bachelor day. Oh, no. I... Oh, I messed everything up. Oh, God. They're all... Uh, can I do this? Yay. I got him. Well, my news. Um, your supply of vitamin D. Now I can get back to playing video games with a blind shot the rest of you. <laughs> Harvey, 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 Harvey. This for me, this is my favorite stuff, just like you read my mind. Yay. Um, okay, so now let's go find Gus. Sorry, it's just the end of the gifting week. That's why I'm kind of like, ah, I need to run around and gift everyone. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to do here. Maybe I'll make more of a platform there. I don't know. We'll see. But right now it's like empty and it's bothering me. Don't like its emptiness. Gus, my pal, I have an orange for you. I'm sorry that I usually I'm make friendship with Gus a lot quicker. I don't know why I've just been <coughs> not like neglecting him, but you miss me? I'm speechless. Welcome to the Star Drop Saloon. How are we doing now? Wizard, right? We need to do wizard. Yes. Wait, does that say we didn't gift him at all? Oh no, it's it's one. Um, Kent says we can't do anything about Harvey. We just gifted. Okay, that's looking really good. Yeah, so let's go gift Wizard and bring him a Void Essence as well, which hopefully be a little encouraging. Then we need to do our um, Starfruit Wine. Was I saying Star Drop Wine before? I might have been saying Star Drop Wine. Whoops. If I was, that was a mistake. Actually, 162 should be fine. Because it's like 130 something. Ooh, the star fruit's catching up. We might actually be able to switch. We got every keg this time. <clears throat> I think we are going to start to pave over the quarry soon. That might be a next episode project. And by that, I mean it'll probably happen in like four episodes when I actually remember to do it. <laughs> mm. 
just looking at all the other ones to see if I missed any. Which odds of me missing some? Still pretty high, honestly, but eh. I wasn't on the right monitor. Okay. There we go. A little bit more money there. Okay, let's grab our goodies. I love this. This feels really... I like that tree there. That actually... I like that. Normally, I hate trees blocking my path. But that feels really good. Are these trees just not going to grow up because they're too close? Is it because it's, they're too close together? That's probably... Those trees aren't going to grow up. That's okay. I'm not too upset about that. I need a purple mushroom. And I need a void essence. I need to come over here because I want to put this truffle oil away. And let's go to the wizard. We're off to see the wizard. Oops. Oops. Okay, can't bring the horse in the building. Can't bring the horse in the building. Goodness, my nose. Oh my gosh, my nose. Okay, one second. Let me just let me just deal with my nose. One second. It has been one second and I dealt with my nose. There we go. How are we doing? Nine out of ten. Will this bump you up? Yay, that did! Awesome. What else do we have? Robin's request. Oh, do you want hardwood, Robin? Have I just been ignoring that? Whoops. 10 pieces of hardwood, albacore, pufferfish, shoot, I could have bought that. I think we have a lobster. I think we have a lobster for Gus, because I think we bought one. I kind of forget that those give friendship, and that's what we're, like, working on right now, so why not? Okay, I'm just getting trapped. Bunny, 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 better than the terrifying rat. I know it's not a rat, but... Coming here because I think we have a trash bear friend, don't we? Huh? Oh, there you are. You want a dandelion? Okay, we can get that. I'm cur I'm nervous about the cooked dishes that trash bear is gonna want because I'm just so traumatized from my rapid axe playthrough. <laughs> uh, gosh. Okay, we're gonna go get that for trash bear and then we're gonna come back. I need to figure out how to get. Eight of Hearts of Friendship with both Jas and Vincent. Trigger cutscene while entering Cinderstaff's forest during a sunny day between 6 a.m. and 5 p.m. Okay. Eight hearts with both of them. We're not there yet. Yeah, we're not there yet. Vincent only has four hearts. Okay. We're going to get a daffodil for our friend here. Drop off the daffodil and then go to bed. Can I bring a farm totem with us? Yes, is the answer, because we have tons of them. We have tons of them. Quickly do this, because this will be handy for tomorrow. Let's rock and roll, chestnut. You're going to have a sleepover with a trash bear, okay? Oh, I should probably close. Oh, if only I had my... Those, like the cottage fences, that gate would look so awesome there with the cottage fences, fence mod that I use. Is that one? I don't even know if that one's updated for 1.6. I hope it is because I love it so much. I'm excited to start doing some modded things again. I love the visual aesthetics of some mods, most mods, lots of mods. Please eat this daffodil. What's next? A catfish. I don't know if we have a catfish. We can check. Nice. And yes, let's go to sleep. 
Bring in the money. Okay. Um, goals for the last day of the episode is let's finish off the serpent eradication. Let's go and see what Trash Bear is doing though. Well, oh, how is he's called? They're they're called Trash Bear. I don't know. It's because they clean up the trash. That's why. I'm gonna keep this coffee on me for Harvey. Hello. A super meal from Kent. Hi, Rue. Rue, I like your little spot here. I should fertilize some of these trees that are taking a bit of time. I think we can make tree fer- Yeah, we can make a- just a little bit of tree fertilizer, it's fine. <laughs> well, you're a tea sapling, you're not a tree. You're already fertilized. These are fertilized, they're gonna be forever tiny. There's a tree back here, wasn't there? What am I getting stuck on right there? Oh, a tree. Duh. <laughs> okay, um, where's chestnut? Holy, we didn't do this last week. That's so many. That's a lot of spicy eel. Put this wood away, our poor dwindling wood. And let's go, let's go do trading before we... Ooh, batteries, yay. Can we make any more solar panels? Maybe we'll look if we can make some more solar panels. Six, crazy. Excuse me, and 144 staircases. That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh, my body. Oh, how's me acknowledging my spine for the first time in I don't know how long. Eight batteries. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, can we make any more solar panels? Four. Um, what are we low on gold? Okay, I'll wait because yeah, our gold is. We have fifty batteries. We're doing pretty okay on batteries. We can put away these staircases though. Two hundred seventeen. Not bad. Let's bring back chestnut. Let's do some animals. I'm also gonna. What was I getting stuck on there? fiber. I'm gonna mow all of this down, I think, because we're gonna be exploring and experimenting here. Why not get the hay from all that? Baby pig. Goldie, is that what we called that baby pig? Still not hatched, that's okay. Milk, 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 milk. Yeah, I could put like a shed in here and a shed here. That'd be fine. That would, uh, maybe not here, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. Hi, animal pals. Put a shed over here on that grass. That won't actually grow. That'll be fine. Yeah, like put a shed right here. I think that'd be okay. And egg, 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 egg. Is that all of them? No, egg. There we go. duck egg on me somewhere. There we go. Hiding. And it should have... Yeah. There we go. 
No truffles yet, that's okay. Donk. Regular mayo. Okay. So my next task is going to be to figure out how to connect this shed to some of these paths. Which I think I have a bit of an idea. I think I might just make like a gravel path to all of it. I think that'll be fun. Okay, so I'm going to want to run around and gift, but I think I'm going to want to complete serpent stuff first. Because we've been wanting to do that all episode. Let's go see if Traveling Merchant has a retro catalog. Let's also talk to the see if you're still happy and pleased. We're doing great. Nice. So maybe next episode? I don't know. I don't know when we'll know we're done with them, but I'm sure it'll be pretty clear. Battery pack, ask for go. Pepper poppers. I'm going to buy because that's a loved gift. And artistic bookcase. Okay, never mind. Bye. Trash bear, I have what you would like. What is your next item? Ooh, so many spring onions. What the heck? So many spring onions. I can actually pick those up. Crunch. No! Why would you want roasted hazelnuts? I don't have hazelnuts at all. Well, it looks like we're not doing trash bear until fall. That's on me for not having hazelnuts. Uh, actually, I could plant fall seeds. Never mind. We don't have to wait until fall. I can plant fall seeds on the island. Not all is lost. That was me. Oh, whoops. Oh, I need to delete things before this recording stops on us. I need to delete... Have I uploaded... What is this one? It's... Oh, that's... Okay, yeah, that's... That's week two of winter. Have I uploaded... Let me just check this really quick. Okay, so that should be enough room. That's fine. I just want to make sure that I've uploaded things and they've actually, like, processed before I do anything. Um, content. What are you? Okay, so I haven't uploaded that one, so I can't delete that one yet. Okay, that's good that I checked. It's good to know. I'm going to have to upload two videos. Two videos. Mm, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Going to Skull Caverns is what I'm doing. Drop off the spring onions and pepper poppers. And we'll drop off like these, whatever we don't need. We're not actually doing like a full dive. We're just kind of going to be putzing around a little bit. So I think this will be okay if we have those. Yeah, that'll be fine. And then the rest is whatever. We're not going to lose the horse whistle if we pass out. Forgot that I needed to upload that right because I recorded it before I write. I need to upload um, the video that you watched last episode last week of winter. I haven't uploaded that yet as I'm recording this. Whoops, I'm getting behind. Ah, bad habit. Episode 32, which we are currently watching episode 33 together. Thank you. Let's go see if we get lucky with some serpents. Oh yeah, it's the tough mines. Right. Give me your Omni Geodes. I actually really want those. There's a key gem in you. Yay. Did I finish this? I don't remember finishing this. I don't think I did. I don't even know what the luck is today. Is it good luck? I, did I even check that? Just casual radioactive ore on level 2. Regular Minds Music. Oh my gosh, two radioactive ores. No, this should say not ores. We got more than two ores. I really want something to start dropping galaxy souls for us. Ah, my gosh.
What is that? Four, five, this will be five and six. I might heal before more serpents come flying at us and take more of our HP. There we go. There we go. Sure. Mummies? Or ghosts, I should say. Care more about the ghosts than the mummies. Omni geodes, please. Yay. <sighs> I don't want to do this lore. Actually, maybe I should just run to the middle because what if there's like key gems in the. Oh, a purple mushroom. We'll take the purple mushroom. Two fire quartz, nice. These serpents will find me eventually, right? They'll 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 meet up with me. Hey, there we go. There's our last monster eradication. That's awesome. That'll be fun to check next episode. I really just want to get to these these barrels in the middle because I don't know. They might have, they might hold something. Whoa, gold! Holy, they might be holding something spicy for us there. Oh, a key gem. Two key gems. I like this. Just like casual skull caverns, just. Like perusal galaxy soul. Do I have a bomb? I have gotten a bomb, yay. I want all this gold. Okay, we'll go down, we'll see what's here, and then we'll probably leave. Nice. Auto petter. Oh, an animal cracker. Nice. Yay, that's awesome. And pumpkin soup, sure. Ghosts. I'm having too much fun. I don't want to leave. I'm having too much fun. <laughs> oh, you know what I can do is I could do four pigs for... Oh my gosh. Rip. Um, Four pigs, four ostriches, and four sheep. We don't have any sheep yet, so we could do some sheep. I think that'd be good. And, uh, oh, hello? We're already on level 24, just from like putzing around. What the heck? Okay, I really need to leave though, because I, like, there's other things I want to be doing today. I didn't want to just spend all day in the mines. As fun as it is, um, we got to be doing some other things. We got nine Omni Geodes from that. Though that's nice, so we can probably throw those into the thing. Uh, this is episode 32. I'm literally uploading this episode as I'm recording now. That's so funny. Downloads. Where is? There's a thumbnail. It belongs to the 1.6 vanilla playlist. Anyways, we're back. Did I go in here today? D clearly not. Oh, I need to go empty my inventory. Wow, that's cool that the star fruit's up though. That's good. Um, let's let's clean up our inventory. I got a plant. I got a plant. That's so exciting. Um, uh, food, food. And then, where's my, oh, these are all out of order. What the heck? There we go. Let's put this plant down. Um, I can tuck you in right there, sure. Oh, 
ran right by it. And we can do, yeah, we can do some ore stuff. This is going to take like all of these, so that's okay. Oh, never mind, it's 25. Take all of our copper. There we go. Seeds, man. It could have been an auto petter. Um, I want 12 of these, and we're gonna go just throw them in here. We're just gonna throw them in. Let them do their thing. Oh my gosh, all that smoke just trapped in the shed. Ooh, uh. And I think we're gonna go give this animal cracker to one of our ducks. We're gonna go give this to one of our ducks. Oh, never mind. They're asleep. We can't. That'll be a next episode thing. Um. Oh, Rue immediately was standing and then like was like, "Nope, bedtime. Bye." Put the coffee away. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna go change our minds to the hard minds as well. Shoot, and then I need to go buy some star fruit. Is it too late to buy star fruit? Oh, gosh, so gross. There we go. So that one's cooking now. Which will be fun to be able to go through there. Just because I think I've gotten more luck getting galaxy souls from like monsters and crates and everything in there. Okay, so now we need to go to the island, or not the island, the the desert to do the star fruit. What time does she close? Does she close at nine? Yikes. Oh my gosh, you work so late, Sandy. Yep, let's go back. And let's plant. Can't believe we got another animal cracker. That's so awesome. The dream of having all of our animals crackered <laughs> is a re can, become a be can become a reality, I would say. Plantarino. There we go. Okay, last order of business aside from putting the star fruit away. Bonk. This is going to be. How many more of these can we make? We can make lots. So we're going to make 50. And then how many? Because that uses up a lot of our coal. How many can we make of this? 50 as well. Nice. Let's start to deck out this this area a little bit more. I don't want this to be three wide, I think, at least to begin with. There we go. And now let's fill in the additional, the outer ring. Fill in the visible outer ring first. Okay. How many do we have of 23? That actually might be enough. Okay. 
Yay, hey, okay, that's awesome. Ten left, so now we can put this down and we'll have a indicator. We should have ten left here. And 10. Perfect. Perfect. Actually, I'm going to want that there. I'm going to move these up. And I don't think we'll have enough time to come in here with the pineapple seeds, but I'll put them on my person so that I remember. I think we're going to have to make some more, that's for sure, because we need 40. We have 24. Yeah, we're going to have to make some more. Actually, that might be something I can do right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab all of them. Actually, I don't need all of these. Ah, gosh. I need some speed. Just a little bit of speed. Oh, you're right there. If we pass out doing this, we pass out doing it. It's fine. None of those are what we need, I think. I don't think any of those are ones that we are looking for. No. That's okay. It's 150. Uh, can I ship these? <laughs> Put you away. Okay, so now if we pass out. Uh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Should have said when we pass out. Ugh. Oh. Who am I kidding? That's all I do now. Well, that's episode 33. That's our first episode back in year three. I'd say that was a pretty successful one, hey? Had a lot of fun. What do we, let's take a snapshot of next week. Vincent's birthday and Haley's birthday. Two people that we really want to work with, yay. But anyways, I'm going to say thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you all so much. You're all such wonderful people. And it's really cool. Like, it's very heartening seeing all of your comments too. Like seeing people kind of talk recently about how, um... <laughs> they're, they're just falling asleep to the videos which again to me is like the most awesome thing to hear alive I love that so much so I want to thank you for stopping by and I'm going to keep this one nice and short and sweet and I will see you in the next episode thanks for popping by as we begin year three and I will see you soon bye bye